I'm going to send it over to Mary Frances Hoots, and I understand the Salvation Army is opening a warming shelter tonight. It's going to be that cold, huh? Yes, Cindy, most of the displaced neighbors are coming from the community kitchen on 8th Avenue. Now that's where they're going to be eating dinner and that's what they do on a typical daily basis. Then the Salvation Army is going to open its doors at 6 o'clock. Now the communications director, the communications director did say that when temperatures get below freezing, that that is when it becomes life threatening. And that's what led to them opening early today. They actually are opening 2.5, two and a half weeks earlier than last year. And the displaced neighbors, they come in at six. They can claim their bedding, grab some snacks. They can hang out, charge their cell phones. They even can shop for clothing in their clothing closet. But that is, of course, at no cost. And then they play movies. Then it shuts down around 10 o'clock. That's whenever they turn the lights off. And then the volunteers, they're actually going to be coming in at 5 o'clock to help make the coffee, set up the bedding, prepare the snacks. Now, during the day, this is a daytime shelter up until 3 o'clock. Then they closed from 3 to 6 and will be reopening at 6 for the displaced neighbors as the only emergency shelter in Chattanooga. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.